Hello everybody and welcome back to the 200 horsepower challenge here on Calm Lungs. So I've been pretty busy off camera. There's been a, a fair few bits and pieces going on. Now we've got some new equipment to start. So we'll have a look at the inside the old shed here. I've got a new cedar and new forage wagon and the wind roar and I've also bought this plow here quite a good little mod that probably see that in action a little while change the fermenting silo because this one is actually a bit faster than the last one I had so we've got some grass over at the end in one of my new fields new plots that I bought so I've been pretty busy in there changed the greenhouse from the open air garden to this multi-fruit uh, multi-crop greenhouse as it's called um, this one gives me some of the other options I'll show you what we get from here so we can get different grains uh, we get different fruits and also we get the the corn cotton and soybeans and root crops so at the moment my plan is to use this one for doing wheat and well the food source for the chickens up the back there uh, that way i can use the fields for doing other crops also installed this nifty mod here which is the um, what's the distributor me but this is uh, sort of like a plumbed in water source so it's kind of like a permanent water source really so this will give me water to my greenhouse permanently so I mean it could be some people might think it's an unreal thing to use but well realistically if, if you your house is plumbed in so you get permanent water so what else have I done? Oh, I've got a trailer full of silage there. Oh, the forage uh, cell point up the top here was mentioned by uh, Jack Sarge. Why I don't have the cell point, so it saves me running all the way up to the shop. Our crops here, we've got the soybeans is growing. Um, we've got wheat growing here. Blends in nicely with the grass. So we'll take a wee trip over, well we'll go up in the sky actually, take a trip over and we will see in here, this was not meant to be soybeans, but it is soybeans, because when I was getting the worker to put the, it's a bit strange that little bit there, when I was getting the worker to put the soybeans in, he decided to run straight across and start planting in here. So this and um, this field here are soybeans. This is going to be windrowed. Well, and it's going to be picked up and put into the, the fermenting silo. So I'm going to plan to have sort of like a, a run similar to this here. It's going to run up the middle here as well this is going to be turned into a field and it's going to be completely grass this could be the big grass field so we're going to turn this into a grass field so yeah i've been been pretty busy doing a bit of landscaping work and stuff so it's quite um, it's, it's nice to have the option for free landscaping um the only drawback I have or I find is when you add the money to it it's reducing the money back down and, um, but you get used to that so we are going to first deliver this we're going to go and sell this actually I actually put the well in there um, I put the well in there because I had the open air garden and I didn't want to keep going down to the lake because the trailer became too heavy to come uphill because this area is quite hilly uh, so it's quite difficult for the tractors to pull the weight 
but when I got this trailer, I was checking the the weight of the the trailer itself. This is one of the lighter trailers, so it's still once it's full for the the small tractor here, it is a bit heavy, but. Once it gets going, it's not so bad. It's only traveling up here, so. I'm going to deliver this and see what we get from that. It's 30,650 30, at the moment in the old bank. I do have something I want to buy. It's quite expensive. Well, mind you, it's about as expensive as the cedar I bought so I think it's around 165,000 it's an, it's actually another John Deere um, it was one I was looking through and found that it can get it on exactly 200 horsepower I find it difficult to find a tractor that will actually get to exactly 200 horsepower um, so to show you that I think it was a medium tractor. It's the John Deere 7. Where are you in there? I'm over here somewhere. There we are. The John Deere 7 J series. So they're directly on 200 horsepower. So yeah. So we're going to try and go for that at some point. Probably get that with all the silage I get from the fermented silo. Right, so we're going to take the wind rower now, and we are going to go over, and we're going to wind row, and we're going to go and collect all the, the grass. I think there was something else I wanted to mention, but I can't remember what it was. He just bypassed me. Right. We get into the big boy, and then we'll go over and we'll get wind rowing. So yeah, it is a bit, it is quite a hilly area that I've picked, um, kind of added an extra bit to the challenge, I suppose. Um, I would like to try and buy a piece of flat land at the bottom. I was planning on moving the moving my farm, the, the actual farmyard itself, over to a more flat area. It's quite difficult to, once you start doing the landscaping, it is quite difficult to get it right and then it can go all to pot and it can be a bit of a nightmare. I just spend more time trying to, <laughs> trying to sort out my mess from landscaping. Alright, uh, so I've got no crop destruction on, so if I do run over the crops, it'll be okay. I there was something else. I oh, wait, I want to change the time dilation. Time dilation a bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, we are in February. As I say, I've been doing this quite a bit off camera up to this point, so yeah, kind of gone through the months. Was hoping to try and have it as an episode per month, but real life kind of got in the way, so there was a, a lot of things going on, so I thought, well, I'll just do bits off camera with the time I have. Up to this point here. Right, so what we'll do is I will probably time lapse this and bring you back in in a little while.
Okay, so we have finally got the the grass in the fermenting silo. Uh, we have ploughed the field. It is now being seeded with grass as we speak. Uh, was supposed to carry on with the time lapse with the the ploughing, but I initially. Um, sort of stopped the recording and then went to go and record again. I completely forgot to do it. So we skipped that and now we're on to seeding. So yeah, so it's been seeded with grass. Uh, now it looked as though the soybean field next to the new grass field is needing some fertilizer. So we're going to go and get some fertilizer and see if it will take a second application just now. And in that time, uh, we managed to get a good amount of grass off that field, actually, even though it wasn't, it was actually meadow grass. So as you can see here, we've still got 133,000 litres of grass, uh, already 19,000 litres of silage. So this one works, to me, this one works a lot faster than the other one. So hopefully we'll get a good amount of money before uh, we require the harvest of these fields, which I think the soybean on the wheat field here will be soon. So I'm not sure if this one needs a second application yet, but we'll try it anyway. Let's see what that's doing. Yep, it does, right. So we'll t put the second application on this one and the second application on the other field. <clears throat> so as I was mentioning before, I want to try and get a f more flat piece of land for the farmyard. Um, that's my initial plan, but I might just see what I can do with the, the old landscaping in the area I'm in at the moment. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, would it, I, you know, ideally, it looks like it's going patchy for some reason. Uh, yeah, ideally I would like to have the flat piece of land, but if I can make it work, then I would like to get some more sheds because we're going to get more equipment and we would always like to keep them out of the rain and out of the elements, so to speak. And we'll get this all fertilized for now. I would like to get to a point where we have also lime going down and uh, rolling as well, so that would be very interesting because that will bring our yield right up as well. So I think we're normal at the moment. We're sitting about eighty percent on the wheat field and the other soybean field over there. So hopefully, I'm not sure if I'm lapping that right. We just double check that. Yeah, we are right. Okay, cool. Yeah, not so. Not sure. Uh, if I want to purchase another piece of land as well for more fields at the moment, I think I'm quite happy with what I have right now. I mean, in all honesty, I could take that small triangular field with the soybeans in it there and I could probably I could probably put sheds in that in there or maybe even production point I mean there's so many so many directions you can go with this really uh, how you want to set it up whether you want to set it up with productions near your farm or further away from your farm sell points that kind of thing so there are so many different directions you can take with this. We'll 
head up this way. So that's the, the beauty of this challenge, is it's not a challenge as such where you there's a goal at the end of it. It's, it's basically just having fun. That's all we're doing in this challenge. It's, it's you know, this is why they give you the the option to do free landscaping. So it's yeah, it's a real bonus where that's where that's concerned there. Um, but I mean, you can you can play it any way you want. It's just given the option. That's all it is. You can play it with, um, you know, with the the free landscaping, or you can challenge yourself a bit more and do it without. I would like to get to a point where I can do it without putting, you know, putting money into the game and then having to try and reduce it again. It kind of, it doesn't look really good on the old, uh, the old invoice, so to speak, the, the daily invoice of the incomes and outgoings of the, the farm. So, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we probably will get to a point where we can do it that way where we don't have to put money in. I mean, I could, I could do the same thing as what Rusty Money Gaming does. We could have another farm that just is like a, like a bank, really, and we could just transfer money that way. Uh, might actually attempt to do that. Because um, I, I, I tried to attempt to do it before, but I wasn't used to how you do it and kind of messed up so i might try it again and see what happens so this is already taking its second application because we're not playing with seasons on this will take its second application quite quickly i think the first application still is still given with the the plowing so we shouldn't really need to periodically plow it anyway. I think I turned that option off, but I plow it just for the sake of, that's how farmers do it at the beginning. So we could get away with just um, going over it with um, subsoil or something like that. Uh, grass seeds going in lovely and we're out of fertilizer I don't know if I've got any at the farm I might need to go up to the shop and get some more actually did not realize that we were running out we'll have a look at the farm and see what we've got But I do have plenty of opportunity with the fields just below here as well. These are not too, too hilly, um, so to speak. The only downfall I find is that when you actually purchase this area here around the pond, you don't actually own any of the ponds. So it's, I mean, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a total loss of any kind. I can still get water from it and that, so... Right, I don't think I have, what's this, seeds, I think that's seeds, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I'm going to need to go to the shop and get some more, uh, some more of the old fertilizer. But as you can see here, I don't have a lot of space here for a lot I mean, I could put maybe a couple of sheds in here, but I'd, ideally I'd like to have them in a, a big group together. Um, and I don't have much here to work with. So the, the opportunity would be to maybe try and put sheds on here. 
we could get maybe a small yard put on here actually it might work maybe even we could even have the road coming in the yard at the back here so if it does you know lower this area here at least we can work with it <clears throat> so we could put a yard in there actually i think that's probably what we'll work for next time and why are you reversing what are you doing why didn't you just turn at the top anyway right we'll leave him to it <clears throat> So we'll get up to the, the old shop and I shall get some fertilizer. All right, so I managed to get more fertilizer. Um, and on my way back, I managed to find a collectible. So yeah, my money's gone up a bit. I'm hoping to use that. We can put it to good use. Hopefully when the the harvest season comes, we'll be able to get ourselves a, a harvester. So that's going to be very interesting. I do have my mind set on one. I think I already mentioned it before in, the, in a previous video. Or have I mentioned it in this video? I can't remember. Uh, I wanted that guy there. I want him to finish his job first before I fertilize the rest of that. So, yeah, in case nobody knows what... Let's see what's on the second-hand store first. Uh, what's in the the harvesters was one of these. Uh, it was this one. I think it was this one. Yes, it was. It was this one. This one goes directly to 200 horsepower. That's 85,000. Um, just keep everything. I don't know if you need the spreader. Do I need the spreader? Probably not. But yeah, 85,000 for that. And then on top of that, I was looking at... Um, This one here, which is 6.6 .6 meters. <clears throat> um, eventually, though, we are going to want a much bigger header than that. But don't want to be using any of these ones because these have the tool height control for headers, which allows me to harvest a lot faster. So we will go back this way. We'll go back to the beginning. So there should be another header here. But that's going to take a much bigger harvester. So for this, for the time being, we can go for the 6.6 .6 meter header. That'll work out. So that's 85 for that and 13 for that. So yeah, once we sell some of the silage, I think we'll be all set with that. There are a couple of bits that have been missed here as well. A bit right there. Uh, there might be bits over here somewhere. No, he's actually managed to do all that. Right, so what we'll do is we'll take control of this when he gets to the end. And then we'll go fill in the fill in the pieces and then we'll finish fertilizing this field. Don't know what have we got so far in the year twenty seven thousand liters. See this is pretty quick. It is pretty quick. Well, hopefully in the next uh video or in the next month which will be March. We've got snow coming as well this, uh, at some point today. In March, we should have almost you turned all that grass into 
silage. So that will be very interesting getting rid of all that. That's going to need fertilizer on there. And then we'll head up here, do this bit and that little bit there. This uh, kind of the only downside when you're fertilizing behind the cedar because if the cedar misses any bits and you have to go back over it, you're going to end up with uh, yeah some patches. All right, so we'll drop him there. Turn him off. Right, so let's go and cover this bit here. So we're going to... It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to cover that. It's not going to be a mega harvest when we get to it. It's just literally going to be two fields to start with. But... There will be a big harvest with the soybeans once they're all done. I mean, I could, I could just wait for them all to be ready, but it, uh, yeah, I don't want to be, don't want to really harvest them all at the same time, because that would just be a pretty boring video watching me harvest all the fields. I mean, unless, of course, you were, uh, you would see that on a time lapse, a complete time lapse video, I could do that. But in the meantime, I think we'll just stick with doing the fields as the uh, as you know as soon as they're ready. Sort of, we'll do it that way. I've still got, I think, two thousand liters of fertilizer up at the shop still to pick up. So we need to get that at some point. I mean, I will with all the new equipment that we end up getting. Hopefully there'll be some sort of telehandlers or, you know, something that'll be able to lift those pallets because that farm supply shop pallets, they weigh a lot and the tractors just will not lift them. Doesn't matter what weight you put on it. It just will not lift them for some reason. make us smaller hopefully they'll use less fertilizer that way but yeah we're getting into a point where it's going to be nice and dark still the the early nights coming in the beautiful sunset over there wonderful It'd be really nice to see that from the cabin actually I noticed a small patch there that has been missed from the soybeans, but I think that's because of the way that the land is contoured, that the cedar didn't quite get there, kind of went over it. So I'm not I'm not I'm not overly fast. I'm just really excited to get the harvest started. That's what I'm really excited about. As soon as the as soon as all this is ready, I'm gonna be excited when the the harvester is, you know, picking everything up, starting to harvest. So hopefully by now we should have well over, well, say well over, but a good bit over 30,000 liters in here now. Are we? Oh no, we're still at 29, but we're close. We're close to getting over 30. Right. Now, I have the liftable pallet mod. Uh, so, I'm not going to use it. But we have got sorghum here and we have got oats here. So, all three of these, I think, can be used in the chicken coop. So, that's quite good. So that, that, that greenhouse there is literally going to be feeding these guys. There's only 60 in there out of 360, so we've still got 300 
animals to fill that pen. But we are going to need something a bit bigger. I may go for the, the one I'm using on the Campaign of France um, collaboration series. So I like that one. That's a really nice one. So I might use that one. Right, let's get this equipment back in the shed because it is going to snow. Unfortunately, I cannot get the mowers in. <laughs> the mowers are unfortunately going to have to stay out until I get a bigger shed or a big enough shed for them. So, I do like these sort of uh, big square concrete sheds. You can get a good bit in them. But it's really nice to have the sort of open sheds where you can actually see everything. And I'm not going to want to put my harvester in there when I get it. As I will also need to get a trailer, header trailer as well. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to have to get another shed for that. Let's get closer in here so we can see what we're doing. Perfect. So that'll do there. I will leave this trailer out here though, because this one is the one that's going to be picking up all the all the silage for us. So we can probably fill that up just now, actually. And then we'll sell this first lot and see what we get out of it and we can kind of work out probably where we're going to be. So 24,900 litres. I won't be able to see where I'm going. As I say, this small tractor isn't the strongest for pulling this, but it's only it's a short distance, so I'm not too too worried about it. No, I wouldn't be surprised if you're all getting really, really annoyed with me. You yapping on and yapping on, but it's, you know, trying to find stuff to talk about is, it can be quite difficult. <laughs> so, I'm just probably repeating myself, repeating things I've already said before. So if I have, then I do apologize. Oh, great demand at the forage cell point. Now, that's a bonus. <laughs> that is an absolute bonus. So what are we setting up with that? See what I mean about the all the high numbers were me putting in um all the free money for the landscaping. Right, so silage, let's have a look at silage. Where are you? Where are you, silage? So we're sitting at seven hundred and eighty eight, so that's pretty good. So we'll see out of twenty 4,900 what we're getting. Looking like we're getting over 14 grand anyway, that's for sure. Wow, okay. 19,639 pound. Wow, okay, that's going to be... Hopefully that demand will be high for a while. We definitely have enough to get the, the old harvester and header. So that's going to be very interesting. All right. I will get rid of that well, actually. I don't need that well anymore. Now, I, I probably have... I obviously did mention, but because I've got that unlimited water distributor, if I sell that, I'm going to end up with billions of pounds in the bank so I don't want to be selling that so I'm kind of stuck with that now which is which I don't mind because if I have any space actually you know if I have any animals or greenhouses anywhere on this map in any corner or any plot then that distributor will distribute the water down to there right across the map so I don't need to worry about it but that is a beautiful beautiful view 
So I'm going to leave it here, guys. So if you have enjoyed what you've seen, please uh, leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you're informed of all my uploads. And don't forget to share with your friends and family. So as I say, March will be the next one. So hopefully I'll see you all then. Bye for now.